Hello everyone, in today's episode we're going to recap this entire week, we're going to talk about the merchandise we launched past week, um, we're going to talk about hitting 270k on, on Instagram, which is insane, um, we're going to launch a new tournament about anime waifus, which is really exciting, and in today's episode we're going to do anime pickup lines, just to help you out, you know, hook you up, um, if you want to, you know, pick up your crushes, your you know boys and girls whatever that combined with your swag will make you irresistible um so that and much more in today's episode so thank you so much for joining back in and welcome to the school of hope all my friends procrastinate i had a dip knew that i was testing ever since i was legit from the dirt i am legit couldn't even afford chips and i haven't even made it but these bitches on my dick maybe it's a personality or energy i give if she talking like a little kid then i got a dip and we are shit. back welcome back everybody welcome back to the podcast it's been a while it's another week another friday um first of all thank you so much for all the support on the merchandise um it has been doing really well and i'm so happy to see that you guys are enjoying the designs uh this is my first experience ever with doing merchandise um so i'm, I'm glad to see that so many of you are liking it um my like i ordered some samples for me personally as well they should be arriving hopefully next week but i'm not sure i'm not sure how that works you, like the people like you guys listening and girls listening right now you might be getting the shirts and um, merchandise earlier than even i am um but yeah i'm also getting some delivered to me uh soon soonish i hope um but yeah thank you so much for all the support i have a lot more planned with the merchandise this was just like the first launch just to see how it does and to like get used to or just to get some experience with doing merch because it was my first time um but yeah i have a lot more planned there's a lot more coming um and as always i'm going to keep you updated on here on the podcast you guys are always the first ones to um to know when something is going on um what's next uh oh yeah um so we hit 270k on on instagram which is insane so um for everybody who's here from instagram thank you so much for all the support for following me for liking my content on instagram <laughs> i feel like we have developed this kind of this running joke where I always post like semi normal pictures on my first slides and then it always ends up with either like a sus picture or just me doing the face. That's like the running gag. Um, I'm happy to see that you guys are liking it. Um, and yeah, I didn't, you know, I see lots of people, especially TikTokers, just repost their TikTok TikToks on their Instagram. And I didn't want to do that. I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you should be getting like Instagram related content. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll get TikTok related content. And if you follow me on YouTube, you'll get YouTube related content. I don't I don't want to like repost all my stuff to the different platforms. I see lots of people doing that. I feel like that's a little lazy. Um, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep, you know, I, I never, I'm not like, very experienced with Instagram, um, but I'll keep improving. I'll keep providing you with the swag, with the drip. And thank you so much for following me. Um, yeah, about the podcast schedule. So I think I have decided to, for now, do the podcast once a week. Um, first of all, I just have a lot to do at the moment in terms of, you know, creating content, um, the merchandise. It took a lot of time and just yeah, it's just a lot of work to get this all um, going. And also, I feel like if I do the podcast once a week, it'll just give us more to talk about. Um, I'm going to have like, uh, you know, I'm going to be able to recap the entire week, basically kick you off into the weekend, uh, kick me off into the weekend. And I think it's just a nice way to um, to round up the week. So for the time being, we'll be doing the podcast once a week, every Friday, um, just so you're not, you know, 
sitting there on Monday and waiting for an episode. We're going to do this every Friday now from, from this point on. And of course, I'll keep you updated once I have more time um, to, you know, record more episodes. But as of right now, we're going to do this once a week. Um, and for the last news for today, there, there's so much news. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we wrapped up the video game tournament. Steve from Minecraft was victorious. And for my next tournament, we're going to do the ultimate anime waifu. So uh, when, when you're listening to this, I'm going to probably have a Instagram story up where you guys and girls can submit your favorite anime waifus. And we're going to do this thing again where I'm going to have like a tournament tree and then we're going to have all these anime waifus face off. And you will get to vote for your ultimate anime waifu in the end. So we're going to have probably 32 anime waifus. And then in the end of this entire tournament, there's going to be one left. And it'll be crowned the ultimate anime waifu. Um, so hop over to my Instagram if you're listening to this right now. And submit your favorite anime waifu. And we'll get this tournament rolling um all right so for today's episode i wanted to do something fun so i asked you uh on instagram for your favorite anime pickup lines uh pickup lines is always (laughs) i don't i don't know anybody who like seriously uses pickup lines i've never used them in person i think they're usually like a joke um but i feel like they are you know, in a joking manner, they can work. I, I, I actually believe they can work. Obviously, you know, the really aggressive ones, they're never going to work, I think. Um, but if it's like cheesy, if it's funny, and the girl already likes you, I think that can definitely work. Uh, so, you know, to, to, um, to prepare you for the summer, to prepare you for picking up your crushes, if it's a girl or a boy, we're going to go through some pickup lines. And I'm going to give my personal rating. I'm going to let you know if it's if it's a banger. If you could pick me up, for example, I'm going to give it a sheesh. If it's a little risky, I'm going to say it's a lawsuit. And then if it's anything in between, I'm going to let you know. But that's how we're going to approach this. Um, and the first one is from Santiago. And his pickup line is a... My Hero Academia reference, um, it is, call me All Might, because I'm trying to Detroit smash. All right. All right, <laughs> Diego. That's a lawsuit. That's a lawsuit right there. That's not going to work. I, I like the effort. I like, I like the reference because it actually makes sense. It makes sense because, you know, All Might does these smashes with uh different states and cities from from america with like texas and detroit and whatever um i don't know i don't know like unless i was a huge my hero academia fan as a girl um i don't know if that one would work so i'm gonna give this like from one to ten i'm gonna give this one a i'm gonna give it a I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a five. Okay. I'm going to give it a five because the reference does make sense. Um, but I think it's a little too aggressive and you would not be able to pick me up. Not that that was your intention. Uh, the next one is from Drakir Santana. I must, this is a Naruto reference. I must be in the infinite Tsukuyomi Because you are like a dream come true. All right. That's a sheesh. That one. That one would work. I feel like actually that one would work. If if the girl or the guy you're talking to. Like whatever. um, If they're into Naruto. And they're like. like, They've watched or read the the manga. I think that one could work. I I like it because it's not very aggressive. It's actually kind of charming. Um, It doesn't have anything to do with smashing or banging it's just you know it's just like a she's like a dream come true um so i think that's very charming i'm gonna give this one draw Kira santana i'm gonna give this one a that's a solid nine that's a solid nine um i think this one could actually work like i'm, I'm not even kidding that that one could actually work um the next one is from matthias 
Call me Gara, another Naruto one. Call me Gara, because I can give you my one tail. Oh my god, okay, Mateos. That's a lawsuit. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, that's a lawsuit. I'm gonna give this one a <laughs> the reference makes sense. It makes sense, but it's just too aggressive. I mean, you cannot walk up to a girl and like tell her that you're gonna give her the one tail. She's she's either like well, in all honesty, she's gonna walk away. But um I'm gonna give this one a a three I'm going to give this one a three just because it's too aggressive. Um, you know, er anytime you reference your tail or anything in that regard, anything that is too aggressive, I just, I just don't think that could work. Also, like, uh, like for everybody who, who made these submissions, these are really funny. I know you're not like completely being, you know, serious, but just for the sake of um, us, you know, looking for actual pickup lines. I'm going to give this a rating. This is not a personal attack to you. I really love all these submissions. They're super funny. I'm just going to give my personal rating. Uh, the next one is from that one taco gent. Um, hey, uh, this is a Jojo reference. Hey, I can give you a golden experience and sticky fingers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So for everybody who doesn't know, these are stands from JoJo. Um, the golden experience, I like. I like the golden experience because that can be anything. Like a golden experience that can be a fun time, you know, just a fun date. It can be a fun time on the beach. It can be, you know, taking her out to like a, like a nice restaurant. That can be a golden experience. The sticky fingers, though... Ah, it's 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 risky. Um, it's risky for sure because sticky fingers is not really something you want to be associated with. I I don't I don't even know what would be sticky. Um, like, I mean, I I hope you'll be washing your hands be before you know interact with her. So I don't even know what would be sticky. I don't I don't even want to know. I think. So I'm gonna give this one. Taco agent, uh, I'm gonna give this one. Like I like the I like the reference. I like the golden experience, but the sticky fingers. Um, I'm gonna give this a a four. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a four. Um, it's not as bad. It's not as aggressive, but now actually I'm gonna give this a three. That's a three for me. Um, the next one is from Carrie. Are you a Pokemon? Because I want to, I want to get a Pikachu. Oh, I want to get a peek at you. All right, all right, that's nice. That is nice. I'm gonna give this one a. That's a that's an eight. That's an eight, or like between eight and like a good eight, I think. Um, that one's cute. Um, it's it's clever. It's not too on the nose. I feel like I want to get a Pikachu. Um, makes like the the nice thing about this this pickup line is it makes complete sense on its own without it actually being used as a pickup line, but because you did the little wordplay at the end with Pikachu and getting a peek at you, I like this a lot. This is not aggressive. This is really cute and charming. Um, yeah, that's a good eight. That's like. That's a solid, solid eight. I'm gonna I almost give this a nine actually. This is really good. Um, I like that one a lot. That could actually work. Like we have the Tsukuyomi one and the Pokemon one for now. Those two, like I'm I'm not even I'm not even capping. I feel like these could actually work. Uh the next one is from Next Tav. Dang, your quirk must be like Bakugos, because we can bang. Oh my god, okay, next tav. Next half, that's another lawsuit. Like, we've had a few lawsuits today. This is another one. Um, you cannot walk up to a girl and tell her to to bang without even knowing her. I think you would usually use these pickup lines to, like, break the ice and get to know a person better. Opening up with the possibility of 
engaging in intercourse is always really, really risky because you don't know her intentions, but she immediately knows yours. Um, and you just, you just down bad, you like way too down bad. Um, so I'm going to give this one, the reference is good. It makes sense because Bakugo's quirk is explosion. So th the whole bang thing, it makes sense. Mm, let me give this a four. I'm going to give this a four because I like the reference. It's just way too aggressive. Um, but I like the reference. Thank you for your submission. Um, the next one is from Bored. Do you watch Haikyuu? Because I really like you. All right. All right. Um, that's, that's cute. That is cute. I'm going to give this a... Do you watch Haikyuu? Because I really like you. Um, let me give this a, that's a seven. I like this. This is a seven. It's cute. It's short. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really reference anything from the anime. Um, it's just a rhyme, you know, you're just rhyming Haikyuu with like you, but because it's so cute, it's not too aggressive. It's actually kind of charming. You're just letting a girl know that you like her. Uh, which is super safe and really nice. So this is a this is a solid seven in my book. Um, the next one is from Got No Chance. You must be able to stop time, cause you're the world -o to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, this is good. But I feel like if if you if you actually said that, you would have to like pronounce the world -o the way the way uh, Dio actually does it, which could scare her away. Uh, but I think for the sake of the reference, you have to do it. Um, that one's good. You must be able to stop time because you're the world to me. Uh, let me give this a... Um, let me give this a... That's a seven. That's another seven to me. Um, because the reference is really good. Um, it makes sense. Um, and you're letting her know that you really like her. Um, you're the world to me. Yeah, that's a, that's a good seven. I like this one. I like this one. I'm glad to see that we have some, you know, nice ones in here as well that are not too aggressive. Um, speaking of aggressive, the next one is from Jamie. Um, he says, are you Kurama's chakra? Because I want you inside of me. Okay. Jamie, first of all, this is super weird and kind of sus if I'm being completely honest. Um, because if, like, oh, okay, well, I mean, obviously, I don't know what you're into. Um, from all I know, Jamie, you could be a girl. So if you're approaching a guy with that, ah, that's also really aggressive. That's really straightforward. I don't know if a guy would even jump on that because it's so straightforward. And if you're saying this to a girl, it doesn't really make sense. Or does it? Uh, I mean, it also just depends on what you're into. Are you Kurama's chakra? Because I want you inside of me. Mm, let me give this a four. I'm going to give this a four just because the reference makes sense with Kurama's chakra. But like asking somebody... Like letting somebody know you want them inside of you, that's that's a lawsuit. Like again, we've we've had a few today, that's another lawsuit. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um but I like the reference. That's a four. Uh the next one is from Rim. Are you a trap card? Cause I've fallen for you. Okay, so a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Are you a trap card? Cause I've fallen for you. That's good. That's good. Um, that's a, that's a, like the reference is good. I've fallen for you. Mm, I think it's not as, as charming as the other ones. Um, you know, as for example, like the Tsukiyomi one being like a dream come true or getting a peek at you. Um, 
Are you a trap card because I've fallen for you? I mean, I like it. I like the reference. I like I like that it's that it's really cute and playful. Um, let me give this a I've fallen for you. I'm gonna give this another ah, it's like between a six and a seven. I'm gonna give this a mm, I'm gonna give this a strong six. That's a strong six. Uh the next one is from Gabby. Are you Natsu? Because I'm all fired up around you. Alright. Um I'm all fired up around you. I like that. That's a six. Um I like the reference, it makes sense because Natsu always says I'm all fired up now. Letting somebody know you're all fired up around them. Yeah, sure, that is a compliment. Um yeah, that that's a that's a six. That's a strong six. Ah, I'm I'm tending towards a seven just because I like Natsu. Um yeah, let me give this a seven. I really like that one. Um that was really cute. Alright, we went through these uh, much quicker than I expected. Um, let me actually see if there are, because we got, I got so many, you guys submitted so many. Um, let me just see if there are a few more that I haven't, um, you know, uh, read to you yet. Um, there's also some that I didn't really um, get, uh, but let, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um... Yeah, you guys, you guys, like, ever since um, the Instagram channel has picked up so much, and ever since there are so many people following, um, all these podcast questions always get a lot of submissions, which is awesome. Uh, thank you so much for always participating. That's, um, that's, that's really cool, and I, I guess it just makes the podcast just that much more engaging. Um, all right, there, here's, some, uh, here's one more from Jamie. Are you in a chia? Because I want to help you restore the clan. Um, are you in a cheer because I want to help you restore the clan? I feel like that one too is a little aggressive. Because it, you know, you're hinting towards, once again, intercourse. Um, which is always risky. Um, let me give this a... Are you in a cheer because I want to help restore the clan? Um... It's it's a five. That's a five to me. Um, just because it's just a little too, you know, too straightforward, I feel like. Um, next one is from Antisocial. Are you the one piece because I'm trying to find I'm trying to find you? I think it would make more sense if you said, Are you the one piece because I was trying or I've I've I was I was trying to find you. I feel like there's there's one in there. Are you the one piece because I've been traveling the world to find you? Nay, are you are you the one piece because I would travel the world to find you? That that's a good one. See, I just came up with that on the fly with the help of antisocial. I would give this one a Are you the one piece because I would travel the world to find you? That's an eight. I mean, that, that's an eight, I feel like. Um, not to, you know, um, pat my own back, but I feel like that's a strong eight um, because it lets her know how far you would go because you like her that much. That's an eight. That's super, you know, sweet, and I feel like that could actually work. I'm also really happy because I feel like some of these could actually work, like in real-life scenarios. Obviously, given that the girl likes anime. You know, it's just a random girl on the street. Um, opening with an anime pickup line might not be the best choice, um, but, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever works for you, I suppose. Um, if she actually likes anime and understands the, um, the reference you're making, then it's a jackpot, I feel like. That's a jackpot. Um, but... If she doesn't like anime, it's just going to be a little awkward, I suppose. <laughs> you just have to let her know that you actually like her because she's not going to get it. Um, let's do one more. Let's do one more. 
Uh, this one is from Nick Nico. Did you eat the Mera Mera no Mi? Uh, so Ace is fire fire fruit. Uh, because you're hot. Uh, you're hot. Um, did you eat the fire fire fruit because you're hot? Um, let me give that a six. Yeah, I'm going to give this a, a six because the reference makes sense, but I don't know. I don't know if like calling someone hot is not too, you know, mm, yeah, let me, it's a strong six. It's a strong six because the reference is good. Calling someone hot, I guess, I guess it, it could be flattering. Um, but I always feel like hot is just a little aggressive, but maybe it's just, maybe it's just because I'm such a, I'm so boring. Maybe, maybe calling someone hot is the way to go, but what do I know? What do I know? Um, but yeah, that wraps up the episode. Thank you so much for all your submissions. That was a lot of fun. Um, let me know down in the description, uh, in the comments below what you think of these pickup lines. I feel like we had some good ones in here. Um, right. And before I forget, so I've been posting lots of pictures on Instagram wearing these Zorro earrings. And in general, people have been constantly asking me where I get my props and everything. I get them all off Amazon. Usually I don't have like a store that I go to. I usually just go to Amazon and try to find whatever I'm looking for. If it's, you know, these earrings or a straw hat or lost hat but if you're really interested in where i'm getting those i can make another video or talk about them more um or just give you the links i suppose um but for zora's earrings specifically um so i just went on to amazon and i'm gonna leave a link down in the description below and basically they did not come in the way i'm wearing them so when i ordered them they came in like a like a three piece they were like all connected like all three dangling things i guess whatever whatever you call them they came they came like in one earring so one earring had like three of these hanging down and it looked it didn't look good because it just you know they were way too close together and when you look close to zoro's ear they like separated and they're all hanging down um so what i did was i ordered three of them so i had like three three clips those are clip earrings um so what i can do now is like i i just separated them and i left one of these dangling things on there so now i have three clips and i can just you know clip them on they're super easy to wear they are fairly cheap i mean one of these cost mm, nine euros and i ordered three of them so like 30 euros which actually might not be that cheap now that I think of it. But you have a bunch, like you have a bunch, like whenever, you know, you lose something. And um, yeah, I mean, the quality is, you know, not great. It's just, you know, like a simple clip on earring, um, but it does the job. It I think, I think it looks fairly good. Um, so if, yeah, for everybody who has been wondering where I get those, I'm going to leave a link down in the description in the comments below. So you can have a look at them. Obviously, I'm I'm in Germany, so I'm not sure if you can even order them wherever you're listening from. But um, but yeah, that's where I got them from. All right, so this wraps up the episode. Um, you're gonna hear back from me next Friday. Uh, until then, I wish you a great weekend. Thank you so much for listening. If you're interested in the merchandise, um, you can visit itskingchris.com. Um, we're going to come up with more designs very soon. Um, so, but, but thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for listening, watching, um, following me on YouTube and TikTok and everywhere. It really means a lot to me. Um, I wish you a great weekend. I'm going to talk to you and I will talk to you next Friday. All my friends procrastinate. I had a dip. 
believe that I was testing ever since I was a jit. From the dirt, I am legit. Couldn't even afford chips, and I haven't even made it. But these bitches on my dick, maybe it's a personality or energy I give. If she talking like a little kid, then I gotta dip. Ain't got time to babysit. If your boyfriend is a bitch, then it's time for me to hit. Only rap out what I live, and I'll never be a snitch. I just want someone to try me so I can knock out they shit. Gotta get it how I live. So